Ok guys, I'm here today, Fabio Gurgel, huge honor for me. Guys, Fabio is probably like the winnest jiu-jitsu coach in the history of the sport. He has made more like than 10 black belt world champions and more than 60 black belt world titles. The Alliance team has won the jiu-jitsu, the, the world championship more than 12 times, right? Fabio? 12 times now, yeah. 12 times. And uh, he was also like four times world champion when he was athlete. And uh, I, I moved to Sao Paulo in 2009 only to learn from him and was probably like the best choose I did in my life. And one thing that was very interesting when I was there is that Fabio was already like 40 years old and he would row with us every single day. And uh, his skates was amazing, so it was very hard to do anything on him. And every time he would get on top, especially in the side control, Everybody was in trouble, so he, he would never lose the side control for I remember that. Yeah, I, I, I tried to, to be very accurate in my attacks, and uh, as mentioned, that the escapes uh, is something really important as well, because you want, when you understand the defense, you can understand the attacks better, and the upside down is the same. You know, when, when you learn the attacks and understand the concept, uh, you can defend yourself much better. You know, yeah. so that's the two positions that I really like to work with, and uh, and uh, and yeah, I'm happy to be here to show you guys some of my favorite attacks. Yeah, so guys, you just shot an entire structure with Fabio, all about top side control attacks, and uh, today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite moves and also some concepts about it. So let's do it. All right, so head up, man. Just turn the, your head up for a second. Okay. Uh, usually the people that when they get the side control, they try to hug the head or sometimes just go over. Like they, they think that it's very important in order to control the guy on bottom, to hold the guy. I try to understand a little different. I think you should avoid your, your, your opponent to turn sideways. It doesn't really matter if I'm hugging the head or not, right? So one of the, the attacks that I like to do most is instead of getting the head, I just press the shoulder forward in order to release this hand and make the hand goes around my, my, my back. So when, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pressing the, the, the shoulder to the ground like this. So from this point, I'm not hurting the head or anything, but now I'm gonna start to slide my belly on top of his face. So it's gonna be like this. So all my weight is on top of Bernardo's face, which means that he can bump or try to turn whatever he does. He doesn't, doesn't move me, right? So then if he lifts the arm like this, I can go to American Lock right away. So he probably gonna take the arm out, right? So that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna control now my lapel and keep walking. So here's the point. I'm gonna stop for a while. As Bernardo tries to move, he needs to rock his legs to one side in order to create space. As he come close, I'm gonna grab the knee, right? Grabbing the knee, I'm gonna keep coming to the side. And when I feel that my weight is not on his head anymore, that is the perfect time for me to bring my knee close to his body. So I'm gonna do this one and drive him to the other side to get the arm ball and finish the move. So, time for more. So, the whole concept is, I'm not hugging the head, I'm just moving my weight on top of his face to force him to give me this arm over my back. So, I'm here, I start doing shoulder forward, belly on top of his face. Remember, if the guy leave the arm like this, I go straight for the American lock and finish. But probably the guy know as I, as I try to touch the wrist, the guy gonna move the arm around. Perfect, no problem. That's what I want. Get the opposite collar so I trap the arm and start keep moving. When I, when I feel that my weight's on top of his face, I'm gonna stop and let him move a little bit. The only way he can move is rocking the legs one side in order to create some space. As he come, I grab the knee. So now he cannot move anymore. So I, I'm gonna keep moving to, to the side of the attack. As I release the pressure 
on, on top of his head, I'm gonna bring my knee close to his shoulder. One. Next move is drive him all the way to the other side to expose his arm a little more. So I'm gonna do this, two, and then step, and finish the arm bar. So guys, uh, one of the things that I learned from Fabio that completely changed my game, especially when I'm on borrow, it's I also keep the hand on the chest. But this thing that you were doing, you completely killed the hand on the chest. Yeah, right? it, it, it's not possible anymore, right? So yeah. the, the whole idea is open up your defense. So you okay. use my weight to bring your arm outside. So okay. once your arm outside, the arm is exposed. So you, you need to take that out of there. And then you're okay. going to go around. My, my back is the only option you have. I got it. Right. So guys, look at this here. Like uh, one of the, this was probably like the best side control escape that I've ever seen. And I learned it from Fabio that uh, instead of placing the hand on the shoulder as everybody does, he keeps the hand on the chest. And then we are halfway to get the other hook. And we can also use the bridge to do the regular recover. Perfect. So in this situation here, Fabio opens up my arm, even though I have the hand on my chest, right? Yeah, yeah, because I, I bring my shoulder under your arm. See how my shoulder is going to push your forearm outside? I got it. So and that's the thing you you can't hold. You don't, you don't have straight and left to avoid me to, 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 you know, to bring my weight all the way to the other side. So you're going to bring your arm outside no matter what. I got it. And uh, guys, uh, Fabio Jiu Jitsu is all about like those very like little concepts and details that you never seen and you, you never think it, it exists in Jiu Jitsu and he uses and I think that's what probably helped you a lot to be able to train for us at that time when you were 40 yeah. and I was 22. Yeah, right? absolutely. I'm still doing, I'm, I'm close to 50, I'm still doing this, you know, in every time I train because you you learn how to position yourself in order to don't spend much energy and also one thing that is very important in my opinion is learn how to take your time you because when you get a good position as we just did so the position was very good for me and i know that for you is, is a big struggle i have been there before i know exactly I how it feels it. being with someone smashing your face so I know that you're going to move and, and I know that you're going to give something else to me. So I stop. So I let you struggle for a, while, for, for a little bit while I'm resting, right? So these kind of things during the row makes you save energy all the time. So yeah. you, your opponent starts to get tired and tired and tired and you are fresher. You know? And it doesn't matter if you're much older than your it does. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So Fabio, you're, let's, let's say your age here. So you're 50, 49 or 50? Yeah, I'm 50 on January. Yeah. Yeah, and you're still training with the young kids in the school. And... I do. I try my best. Not not every day as I used to do when we you, you were there. But uh, I try to go at least twice, three times a week. And, okay. and, and you know, put myself in place to... Okay. To you know, to try to to survive with them kids. I got it. Yeah, guys, that was unbelievable. Like uh, when I moved to São Paulo, Fabio was forty years old, and he would train for us every single day and kick your ass. <laughs> and I was like twenty three. So <laughs> and and, and after many classes, right? So the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he would I, teach the I, entire I, morning, yeah. like private lessons and this and that, and train twelve o'clock. That was the competition class, and train for everybody, like uh, Michael Lange. Myself, uh, Leonardo Nogueira, all Antonio like, Peinado. Antonio Peinado, so all the young ones and the tough 100 kilos and world champions. And he was like 40 years old, then 41, 42, 43, and was still able to train. So I truly believe that it was a lot because those concepts like this, like... Uh, absolutely, absolutely. It's how to, no matter if you are on top or on bottom, you need to know... Uh, how to position yourself in order to don't spend too much energy, you know? And when you learn that, you can, of course, put a lot of energy when you need to, you know? So you get a much tighter positions because you, 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 don't, you don't get the position like dying because okay. you, you, you took your time. So you, when you pass the guard, 
means you're not scrambling to pass the guard. That's not my style. I'm not nothing against. Yeah, you go like you scramble. Like, you go like little yeah, by little. Yeah, I prefer to get inch by inch. But when I land in across side mount, my opponent is gonna be tired and they're gonna be fresh and I gotta capitalize on that. And when I get the arms, the same thing. I like, like I just showed you guys. So I get a good position. I stop. Let's see what comes next, you know? Good. It's gonna be something good for me, otherwise I'm gonna stay stay there without moving. I get you it. Know? No, that's, that, that's amazing. So guys, you just shot an entire structure with Fabio, all about top side control attacks, that I think it's like the type of technique, especially when you are getting older, I think it's it's the one to use the most, because we want to pass the guard and get in side control. So we're gonna be launching soon at bggfanatics.com. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there, so. Make sure to check that out. And thanks so much, Fabio. My pleasure, Ben. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.